Uh, today, basically, I'll be talking about the traditions of rainwater harvesting and rainwater harvesting to sustain the ecosystem. All of us have heard globally there's a water crisis. 1.2 billion people do not have access to water, other services like sanitation. But today, my talk is basically focused closer to home uh, in Western India, in the Marwa region, which is also uh, a part of the Thar Desert, the most densely populated desert in the world. We have about 80 people per square kilometer compared to others, about eight and nine. The Marwa is translated as the land of death. Uh, it's translated as land of death because there is no drinking water. And when I say there is no drinking water, people do not have a glass of water to drink. We uh, receive very little rainfall. Uh, we get about 200 millimeters uh, uh, in a year, which is about eight inches. And every fourth year out of fifth year is a drought year, which means we do not even get that little eight inches of rainfall. Our temperatures are scorching. This is a picture that I took just about 30 kilometers from Jodhpur, uh, where uh, people are trying to collect drinking water. So this is drinking water for people there. Uh, people walk long distances, especially women. They walk long distances uh, trying to collect drinking water. In fact, uh, we've done a study where women travel a distance of about eight kilometers in a day to collect water. And if you take the average collecting, water collecting life of a woman to be 40 years, she's traveled 120,000 kilometers just collecting this type of water. Children, especially the girl child, is somebody who's stressed to collect water, help their mothers collect water, digging holes in the ground collecting water. When we look at the water crisis, it seems very huge. I mean, what can we do about it? But the solutions also lie at the local level, at the grassroots level, and that's what our work is about. It's about getting communities together and revive what they knew, what they already knew, the rich traditions of water harvesting. And what we have done in our work is in about 2,500 square kilometers of the Thar Desert is to create water user associations, which are Jal Sabhas. These are just community institutions enabling them to plan their water harvesting structure, something that their ancestor di ancestors did. We get women involved uh, to plan the water harvesting system and more importantly, enable them to contribute in the construction of those structures. It's not just we go in and we get those structures made. We get them to plan. Here there's a planning exercise happening with the women as to where do they want the structure. We, we give them the engineering part of it. So we try to get them into a little bit of a scientific tempo where they understand rainwater harvesting. These structures, though simple, something that they knew, it's trying to get them back together. And what we're trying to do is revive traditional rainwater harvesting. And rainwater harvesting basically, if I were just to say, is of two types. One is impounding, which is collecting water on the surface, and the other is recharge, where we allow the water to go into the ground, so it percolates into the ground. But in the Thar, we have extremely saline groundwater. It goes up to about 10,000 ppm, which is, uh, in a glass of water, you were to add about 10 tablespoons of salt. So what we do is we do these impounding structures. It's a large structure that we create where water falls on a catchment area. It's like the water falls and you catch it and it comes down and rolls into structures. And here, uh, it, there's a construction of a talab happening, which is a village pond. And these impounding structures are simple. Uh, on the rear side is an embankment being made. So the excavation is happening. The catchment area is on the front. The water will flow, come in and settle in. In the next picture that you'll see is the embankment actually being made. So where the water comes and collects, and then it can be used over a period of time. I'm, this is the embankment being made for the water harvesting structure. In addition, uh, we have different structures like tankas, which are underground water harvesting tanks, which are closer to home. So they, are brought, they bring water closer to home. And women don't have to walk long distances to collect water. Another structure very interesting is a berry. This is a construction of an underground rainwater harvesting tank. It will collect water from an artificial catchment or from a rooftop. Another structure is a berry, which is a recharge well. It helps in recharge. It's not, a seep it's not a groundwater well, but it's a seepage well, which collects seepage water coming in, and people have, communities have water closer to home. 
This is uh, a flat land uh, where uh, this is a picture before we have made a water harvesting structure. And once we make a water harvesting structure in the rear, in the front, you see this is the water that's collected. And then water is available for this community. This is in Barmer district in Rajasthan. And water is available here for throughout the year. It's a desert that we work in, so it's a flat land. So water might fall in the catchment really far away, so we make water channels so that the water comes in and the efficiency of water harvesting is improved and it comes and gets collected at one go. I'm sorry about the timing here. <laughs> this, is the, this is the berry, uh, the recharge well that I was talking about. Uh, this is next to a pond. This is a cleaner source of water. So the water is actually seeping in and coming in and people can take water and animals can drink water at the rear. Uh, in addition to berries being here, we also make them close to sand dunes, so it's perched water. This is a taka, this is a sand dune in between people living, and this is a taka in the, in the front, which is a harvesting water tank, so that it has an art artificial catchment area where the water comes in, collects, it's closer to home, women don't have to walk long distances to the talab to get water. In addition, uh, as I talked about children having to miss school, we do rainwater harvesting in schools. Uh, this brings water to schools where children have water to drink and girls do not have to help their mothers go collect water. We've been working uh, in about 2,500 square kilometers of the Thar Desert for about 10 years now and we've worked in about 350 villages where we've revived uh, traditional water harvesting systems, mostly impounding reaching about 350,000 people. Uh, but more importantly, it's a model. It's a model that we've created, which we hope can be replicated to other parts of the world to address water crisis. Thank you.